So the only complicated thing about cooking rice is that each different type of rice is going to have a slightly different cooking time and it's going to soak up a different amount of water. So it's important to really get to know a few different varieties of rice and keep on cooking those ones so you know that you can cook them well. So it's important to get that ratio. Either you can work in cups and so you can use two cups of water to one cup of rice or we're going to do it in grams and milliliters. So 120 grams of rice, 400 milliliters of water. That's, that's our 120 grams. So we're going to want 400 milliliters of water. And that 400 mils going into the pan. And to that we are going to add half a teaspoon of salt. And just to make it a little bit more interesting, we're going to add a few little spices in there. You can make, just going to pinch three cardamom pods. This is the recipe for spiced rice, which goes with our Sri Lankan fish curry, a couple of cloves, and then we've got a little spice mix, a little bit of turmeric, and a little bit of cinnamon. In it goes. Just give that one a little stir. And we're going to bring this water up to the boil. And that smells amazing. So we're just going to add our rice in there. Give it one gentle stir. Cardamom and the cloves are going to float up to the top. It's just going to make them easier to remove later on. Then we're going to pop the lid on. Bring it back to the boil. And as soon as we hit a boil, going to bring it down to a gentle simmer and leave it simmering for 25 minutes. So our rice has been cooking for 25 minutes now. We know that because we've had our timer on. Um, so I'm just going to check that it's done. Let's turn this beautiful golden color with the turmeric. You can smell those spices coming through. The rice grains have swelled up and all the water is soaked into the grains or evaporated out. It's going to give it a little taste. Mm, perfect. So similarly to pasta, it's al dente, so there's still a little bit of a bite to it, but they're soft the whole way through. So that's ready to go right now. Or pop the lid back on, leave it to steam for another 10 minutes. That steaming process is just going to mean that those rice grains are going to swell up a little bit more, um, fluff up, and it'll give it that extra delicate softness. One of the secrets to great rice is that steaming process. If you've got the time, do it whilst the stew's finishing off cooking. If not, good to go.